Jesus, what have you been up to? Are you happy here? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Well, what's happened? Did you two get yourselves into trouble? The fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. Oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that mug. But now, the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him? I've already told you once, he's an arsehole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? Well, that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits, and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going, and he starts yelling too, and... And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouth bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. Hmm. I'd never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job here as a hand and you'll soon see. And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You don't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. I'll be with you. Hey, how'd you get so fucked up? Matthew told me your foreman's a fool, and you're not exactly filled with Christian love for him. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything, and drown him in the river. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day here. But we had a disagreement, and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. Well, how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here. But that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The miller's an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass, and kind with it. But what can she do? Nothing. Not that it stops Matthew gonna see her. But Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? You might make puppy dog eyes at her. 
But most of the time, he just struts about like a peacock. I really don't think she's the problem. I spoke with him briefly, and he doesn't seem so horrible. Then you ought to try working with him. He's a sneaky bastard. And arrogant. You should see how he puffs himself up when he's off to play dice with Lawrence. Who's Lawrence? Another mill hand? Aye, but at the neighbouring mill. They call him the Wren. Damned if I know why. Thomas goes there to play dice with him. And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the play's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That might help. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. God be with you. I'd be with you. So what do you think about the workers I brought you? If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? He can't manage the work anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. But you need the help anyway. And they're pretty handy. Maybe. But they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for the mill. And I saw them eyeing up Jane. Nothing strange about that. She's a pretty girl. And she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. They have their way with her, then... Before her belly started to grow, they'd have run for the hills. Look, we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have peace to do their work, they'll be able to finish it faster. But... And then they'll take their groschen and leave. The mines will open again, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And leave Jane alone in the meantime? Of course. They're not interested in the mill. They just need the coin to pay their debts. Once they've got enough, they'll have no reason to stay here. I never thought we could sort it out this way. I've known them for a long time, and you can rely on them when it comes to this. Everybody will be better off. All right. If they keep their part of the bargain, I'll even give them a few extra groschen. But woe be tied them if they don't. You can tell them that. Take care now. Jesus, what have you been up to? It took some doing, but I made a deal with him. I'm glad to hear it. So we can stay here? He'll leave us be? He'll leave you alone, but there are conditions. Once you finish your job, you'll vanish from here. But you'll get an extra groschen or two for your troubles. And that's it? I thought... Oh, never mind. Oh, and you're to stop dallying with the miller's daughter. Keep on mucking about with her and you'll muck things up for yourselves. The fucking bastard. He can go fuck himself. He'd better give us enough groschen to make it worth it. But I suppose I should thank you. You may have bought us some peace and quiet, and that's better. Take care.
Let's hunt something, eh? Hair. Look what I've got, you'll love this. There's the g that's my boy.
Look what I've got. You'll love this. God be with you. So I got the game goods for you, Master Butcher. Splendid. Let's be having it. Mmm, looks good. Here's something for your effort. Another job for you. One of the merchants was asking for deer liver. Try and get me some. All right. Yeah! Mother of God! I'd like to... So what are you in? I've... Uh... I'm sure... I've got some good. All right. We do some hmm. What about this? We're getting there. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Day to you. Have you got any work that needs doing? Not much. Unless you're not averse to a bit of risk. How do you mean? As you can see, I tan hides. I can only buy them from the master huntsman and he never gives me enough. I'd hunt them down myself, only he keeps a close watch on me. But you now... Well, I don't think the master huntsman would be any happier about me hunting on his preserve. 
He wouldn't, if he caught you at it. Look here, I'll pay a good price for whatever you bring me. And sometimes I have to fill an order and I need something in particular. In which case, I would pay you extra. And if you help me out a few times, I might be able to teach you something useful. Couldn't you use some hides? I need the hide of a sturdy roe buck. There's a wealthy merchant after one to hang on his wall. <laughs> As if anyone would believe he bagged it himself. Good luck then. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get the hell out of here. God's blessings. What can I do for you? So, have you forged a sword? No, I certainly have. And? It's wondrous. Even I can fit its power. I think this is my life's greatest work. I'll never make anything to match it. Do you want to buy it? To buy? I thought it meant the world to you. Well, yes, but now that I have it, it seems a shame to just leave it lying about. A sword such as this is for chivalrous deeds, and I'm no one. About that sword. Good luck to you. Let's talk about... Well, here, my word. God be with you. Let's have a word of... Hmm. Have a word about hmm. Is this enough? You are right. I'll go for. 